we've got the engine block in the stand and I've rotated it so we can see down the bores and you can see how shiny and glazed it is through here but the um, you can actually see down the bottom just a little ridge but the one that had the poor compression number two you can see down this side here where there's been rust where water's been sitting from time to time down the bottom end there you can see the rust and if you look hard I wonder can I no I can't get my hand where I'd like to you can just see like a lip down near the bottom so if you come up oh, a quarter of the way from the bottom you can see a lip around where you can really feel that with your hand and on number three it's not as bad but there's another one there too so I'm not going to muck around measuring the bore it's just buggered so what that brings us to next is pulling these liners out there a dry sleeve and we can run a weld down and, and shrink the liner out so we might go and get the welder set up and have a bit of a crack at that eh? Okay, now the way we're going to get these liners out is just run a weld, so I'll try and get in here and have a weld, see what I'm doing, and have it so you can see what I'm doing too. Now I've got all the plastic pots and all that from underneath the engine, and what I'm going to do is run a weld along the front here, in through there. So that blocks you out a bit, I'll just see. Now the idea is to let that cool and as the as the weld cools it shrinks of course so sometimes I run two just to make sure I've got it so just for this exercise I might so to get the weld down in there it seems to help to give it a bit of a bit of a twist we let that cool down and that should come out I'll just do that one for the moment and as it cools I could probably put a rag or something in there to help it cool but I'll let it cool and we'll come back right on these bores some of them I've welded out but I welded the front one and it's even with the weld turned down the liners are that thin I'm just going a bit too deep so I'll try and Use my little rounded screwdriver here. Break a little bit out of the top here. Then we should just go down the side. I'm 
I'm going to have to fix my screwdriver, I think. Okay, we've welded it down, but this one doesn't seem to want to come, come loose, so... I have a little screwdriver that I've used for this for years, and it's got a very rounded back on it. And you can just slide him down, but... You get some of the cast ones and they just oh, some and they just peel straight out in front of you, but this is a little bit harder. The idea with the rounded edge is that you don't score up all the, the bore as you're coming down the side. So far so good.
it's probably not the correct way to do it. Yeah, you, know, you can press them out, but I don't know. I've done this a lot. coming in on an angle here, I'll tell you. See where we got to down the other end there. Just relieved with all the weight. Yep, you can see that. There you go. I'll just check down there. No, that's pretty good, no little burrs. I've seen in the past this little mark there, but you can always get them out. And look, that's one way of doing it. I tried welding the top one, but it actually welded in too far, and I've got a, I've got a little mark up the front here I've got to tidy up, so that's why I went to the old screwdriver method, because they're only, they're only very thin here, and it's not hard to weld too hot and weld through them. Not that the weld sticks to the cast very well, but Anyway, that's one way of getting them out. You can put ice in them and press them out, um, sit them up in the, in the big press and make a little uh, disc that sits down here. You can't have the sides because you can't get it in, but it covers most of it. But I found in the past doing that, keeping that true and pushing it out, there's a bit of a battle at times. So Anyway, that's one way. I don't think it's the correct way, but that's how I do it, and it works. This one here, number two. I just run down. There's no mark anywhere. That hasn't marked at all. Yeah, I wonder can you see? See all the all the marking and the scoring in that in that ball. Just incredible. But yeah, down through. Yeah, down through here is looking nice. So now we just clean up all these edges, clean everything right up. Um, I'll undo all the fittings out of the block and I'll decide whether we pressure clean and um, and that'll be good enough for this or or what we do. Um, it's pretty good. It's not going too bad. Um, anyway, we'll see how we go.